Hi everyone and welcome back to our Saving Christmas series. In this series we've gone ahead and shown you how to create the Saving Christmas game that I released in uh, up to Christmas. If you want to make the game you can find all the assets in the link below in the description. In this episode we're going to start tying things up by looking at our, um, at our final end screen for when we beat the game. So when we beat the game we want to congratulate the player, show some credits and then return back to the main menu. So for this we need to make a new map. So to save a bit of time, rather than going through the whole entire process, we're going to go into maps and we're going to tell our main menu map here. We're going to duplicate this and go end uh, map. And open this up. Okay, so it, it looks identical because it is. We need to go into our blueprints, open level blueprint, and we need to tell this thing. Uh, actually, no, we'll come back to that later. We'll come back to this in a minute. Uh, let's go back to our UI folder and let's create the widget for our main uh, uh, end screen menu. So I'm going to go widget blueprint, end screen. UI. So to start off with our credits, we're going to drag a border into our scene here. We're going to take it to center, a line in the center, and change position to 0, 0, and alignment to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. The size in the X is going to be, let's say, 1000, and the size in the Y is also going to be 1000. Maybe a bit more than that. We'll see. Let's actually. Mm, mm, let's do something smaller than that. Let's go 500. Okay, so in here, uh, we are going to change the background color for this by changing the brush color to an alpha of zero. And inside the border, we're going to put in some text. So drag your text out and put it in there. So the text, I'm going to have center align. I'm going to have, use the Grinched font. And I'm going to make it 48 in the size here. So the text for this is going to be set to a text, uh, a large text field. Okay. So in the graph, um, we're just going to type it all out really. Add a new variable and you can make it a text variable called credits. And we're going to go down here and we'll make sure multi line is turned on. And then when you click compile, it's a default value. We can now type in what we want here using shift enter to add uh, line breaks. So here I can say, um, Well done, you have defeated the. Um, now I could defeat Jack Frost and saved Christmas. Then shift enter and I can add more lines to it as you can see here. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. I'll do a thank you for playing. And shift enter again. One, two, three, four, five. Game designed. Uh, designed. Let's do uh, Designed by and shift enter Ryan Laley. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, music. And sound effects, and I'll put the websites I've got the sound effects from. Free sound, income tech, and uh, that was it really. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And 
art from various sources. I can't remember what sources I got it from. I know terrible, but um, I made some of them. One, two, three, four, five. Additional art by Ryan Laley. Four, five. And then I'll put a plug to this series. So I'm going to go create this game yourself at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Ryan Laley. And two, three, four, five. And support Ryan Laley Games at patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. And let's just shift enter that at youtube.com. Just make it a bit more presentable. Okay. And hit compile and go back to design view. So now on the content here where it says text, I can now bind that to the credits like so and hit compile. Okay, so now it's now going to be bound to that. Next, I want to take it to move up. Okay, so I'm going to make a new animation and call it credit scroll. And we're going to add the text as a track and add its transform track. In there, you have translation, which is its movement. I'm going to change it in the Y. So on the first key, you can leave it as is. Actually, no, let's make it um, lower. So I'm going to go off screen like here. So let's do, that's 830. And then let's say it's going to take Let's say uh, 30 seconds. That's too long. Let's do something a bit shorter. Let's do 15 seconds. So 15 seconds, we're going to tell its Y to be set to, and we do minus uh, 3000. We'll have to tweak this to get exactly how we want it. but. Um, let's see how that looks. So I'm going to close that and then go to the level blueprint. Tell it to add the credit sequence to this. So end screen UI and hit compile, leaving the rest as is. So let's just play this. So there's our text. I have to tell this to change, don't I? So it should start off the screen. So the reason why it's not starting off the screen is because I forgot to change its default here to be off the screen. So translation, actually do it in the graph. Let's just do it here. Do construct, you went construct and get credit scroll and play animation. Now do it for us. Play. And just watch the scroll come up. Okay, not too bad actually. That's, not, that's actually pretty good. Um, we're going to lower it down a bit so it focuses on the support bit at the end. So I'm going to go into my design view, click on my animation, and just tweak that. So it's not minus 2000, but minus. 2750 and let's see how that looks in the game I think I'll make it a black font as well okay not too bad okay we've got this little cut off at the top here so what I'm going to do It'd be quite nice having both those last two bits together. I'm going to just close the gap between the two of them, like so. Play, and just make sure this looks okay. I 
Okay, so we're just going to lower it down now. Uh, so, in fact, let's just add some extra lines here. Like so. Let's change it while we're here to black font. And click compile. Play. Excellent. Cool. I like it. So we'll end that there. And then we're going to add a button on the screen as well. That is um, going to tell the player to basically finish the game and quit game. Or we go back to main menu basically. So here we're going to drag a button out. And we're going to put it in the bottom right hand corner. And I'm going to just change the size of it here to 500. And then 100. And just position that. There we go. And appearance, we're going to do very similar to the previous episode where we've done the main menu. Make sure the box. I'm going to change that to 0.4. Hovered, we're going to go in and put the hovered one in. Again, 0.4 is a box type. And I'm going to drag some text into this thing. And the text is going to say return to menu in the Grinched font. Okay, so that's that. And then on the graph, on the contract here, we're also going to get the player controller. Set input mode to UI only. And then show mouse cursor. Set to show mouse cursor. And turn that to true. Hit compile. Then click on your button in your variables. Add the unclicked event. And from there we can go open level. And the level name is going to be main menu. And hit compile. So now if we push play and go into full screen. No, I can't because I've already pushed it play. And but you can see the return menu button is there. I'll hover over it and click on it, and it'll take us back to the main menu. Now, what you see there in the middle of the screen is the default player actor that is spawned when you don't want it to spawn. So we need to turn that off. Sometimes happens when you're working with menus like this. So to make sure it doesn't show that player pawn, we need to create a new blueprint for the game mode. So go to add new blueprint class and you'll choose new game mode base. And we call this one the menu game mode. And in there, we want to set its default player, uh, uh, default pawn class here to none. Hit compile and close that. And we'll make sure you both of your menus use it. So here we are in our end map here. We'll change that to menu game mode. Hit save. Go to the main menu. And we're going to change it to uh, menu game mode. Making sure it's set to none there. And whilst we're here, we're going to go through and double check that we've got the correct game mode for everything else. So level one, that should be Santa there. Uh, level two. Center and boss level, and we'll make sure that that is correctly as it is there, set to my game mode. And that's it, we've done all the menus we need to do. Um, all we need to do is make it set up so that when we win the map game, uh, it takes us to the end screen, and when we lose the game. Uh, it tells us to restart basically the whole entire game. So thanks very much for watching. We'll do that in the next episode. So catch us in the episode, next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash right daily where supporting me just for $1 gets you access to all this content plus much, much more.
Thank you to everyone who's been supporting me so far, and I can't wait to show you guys what else we've got in store. Thanks again, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.